called Dr. Nora Medias from Kavarole Research and Resource Center. Um, in February, from uh, uh, the 6th to the 11th, I was in Dakar, Senegal for the World Social Forum. And uh, at the World Social Forum, there were many issues that were discussed and that uh, people were advocating for. But one of the hottest issues that uh, took center stage in most of the discussions at the World Social Forum was the issue of land grabbing. And uh, land grabbing was being was viewed as a, uh, a deliberate move by uh, European uh, European uh, groups with, uh, with foreigners and Asians that are rushing into Africa to buy big chunks of land at the expense of, uh, of the of the citizens of this country of these countries and also it is happening in other uh, in other developing countries elsewhere in the world but um, uh, the discussions in the in the in the land grabbing sessions and other sessions we are all giving a message for 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 everyone on how you look at development development effectiveness how do you ensure that you know first of all citizens of the country are put at the forefront of any development initiative that comes out in the in in in, in, in any country and here they're looking at issues of uh, of uh, fairness and uh, access to the basic needs you find that most of the land that is being given out to the foreigners is uh, for big development projects. But these development projects in the governments, most of the African governments, are viewing this for their economic growth. But this economic growth is not translated into the improvement in the quality of life of most of the citizens of the nations of, of the different countries in Africa and other development other developing countries. So the message from the World Social Forum really uh, concerning uh, the land grabbing and other development initiatives for most of the African governments and other developing countries was that they should put the citizens of their countries at the forefront or as, as priority in any of the development in, in interventions. In fact, it was said that uh, development shouldn't be viewed in terms of growth or in terms of the infrastructure or in terms of of uh, the number of industries that you have, or in terms of technological innovations that can help you even discover space elsewhere, but in terms of how the improvement in the quality of life of the citizens of a country is taken care of by any development intervention. So our leaders in Africa here and, uh, and elsewhere in the developing countries need to focus on issues that will improve the quality of their life in terms of access to food, in terms of improved health, health care for the children, in terms of maternal health care because many people are dying out there. Many people are dying, many women are dying but as they are giving birth. But the, the healthy the healthy status of some of the countries are not, you know, improving even when their growth, their economic growth is improving. So what does that mean? So it means really for any country to be assessed as making progress as far as development is concerned, it should be based on how it is performing in terms of improving the quality of the majority of its citizens is concerned.